make sure you're physical. Lot riding on the ball game. Get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. Hello and welcome to Hooton's Arkansas Football. I'm Chad Hooton and we are just one week away now from another great high school football season in Arkansas. Next Friday night, teams all across the state will kick off the season and then next Saturday, we're excited about the triple header that will be held here at historic Quigley Stadium on the campus of Little Rock Central when the Alltel Hooton's kickoff classic features six great teams. The first game at noon, the home team, Little Rock Central Tigers take on the West Memphis Blue Devils. About 10 minutes after that game, probably around 2.15, win Yellow Jackets and Shiloh Christian Saints. They'll get it on, and that should be a dandy. And then in the final game of the triple header, Fayetteville High's Purple Dogs try to tackle the mighty Marshall Texas Mavericks, one of the biggest and baddest teams from the Lone Star State. Tickets are still on sale for the Alltel Hootons Kickoff Classic. They will be available at the gate next Saturday, or you can get them later this week at the Spalding Athletic Store on 12th and University or at First Security Bank locations all over Arkansas. Advanced tickets or tickets at the gate next Saturday. They're $7, and we hope to see you here next Saturday at Quigley Stadium in Little Rock for the Alltel Hootons Kickoff Classic. Stay tuned tonight, though. We've got previews of a lot of great teams from around Arkansas. We'll do it class by class, the different classifications, and we'll start with a look at AA football coming up on tonight's edition of Hootons Arkansas Football. Hootons Arkansas Football is brought to you by First Security Bank, by Landers. More of Hootons Arkansas Football brought to you by Landers. Shallow Christian has won 63 games and two state championships over the past four years. But the Saints actually have something to prove in 2001. Heavy underdog Ryzen shot Shallow 30 to 29 in overtime last December, denying the Saints a third straight state championship. Number one goal, you know, we always start out the year. Number one goal is to get back to Little Rock and uh, especially after what happened last year, uh, we want to redeem ourselves and uh, come back with a championship. The Saints' run defense will be tested next Saturday against Class 4A win, which didn't attempt a single pass the first half of last season. The run-oriented Yellow Jackets have been successful, though. They're 24-2 over the past two years. Win and Shiloh are the second game of the triple header at the Alltel Hootons Kickoff Classic, scheduled for about 2.15 or 10 minutes after the West Memphis Little Rock Central matchup. Yeah, starting off with win, I mean, anytime you get a, an opportunity to play in front of the state, to play in the Classic, you know, that's an honor in itself. And just to be in a part of that, and that, that's a big time atmosphere. And, you know, we always look forward to those type of challenges. Then we get to go up against win, which is a traditional rich uh, eastern part of the state school. And, you know, they have always gone deep into the playoffs every year. Uh, Hardworking kids, and, you know, we've seen them on film. And therefore, we got a work cut out for us. So uh, we look forward to the challenges. We believe those challenges in early seasons will prepare you for December ball games. Charleston came close to upsetting Shiloh Christian last year, but lost to the Saints twice. The second time came in the state semifinals, ending a great run of 33 wins in three years for an athletic group of Tigers who graduated in May. But this year's Tigers are still the conference coach's favorite to finish atop the 4AA. Number one, uh, that's a great place to be, I guess. Uh, I, you know, I'd better be there as uh, number eight, or pick number eight. But uh, Danville's got a good ball club, too. And uh, uh, I think that uh, there's four teams in our conference. You throw in Hector and Levac, and all four of us got a chance to win it. Uh, and it's going to be a little more exciting this year, and that's what it's all about. Carlisle's confidence was shaken last year, but the Bison should return to championship form this fall in the 5AA North, where they've been runner-up the past two years to Harding Academy. Hard-nosed fullback Cody Simpson returns after breaking his ankle early last year. Simpson ran for more than 400 yards and less than three games last season. Senior Brian Hongleman should be one of the better cornerbacks in the state. Barton coach Frank McClellan now has a remarkable 300 wins, but he does not have as many horses as he did a year ago. Senior Michael Sane is back at quarterback. He completed 50% of his passes last year. Senior linebacker Ben Boncano ranked number two on the tackle charts with 84 stops last year, but he's one of just three returning starters on defense at Barton. 
An early exit from the playoffs last fall disappointed Harding Academy fans and irritated their coach, Tommy Shoemaker, who promises a mentally tougher squad this fall. Well, that's what we're hoping uh, will happen as far as the mental toughness. We worked pretty hard in the offseason, and uh, our guys are working very hard. I think they're going to be ready to go, but we won't have any superstars. It'll certainly take a team effort this year. Wide receiver Heath Adams is back at Harding. He caught 62 passes for 638 yards and 13 touchdowns last year. And another Huckabee will try to make a name for himself. Jordan Huckabee, Jeb's little brother. He's 6'1 and 160 right now. He caught 16 passes in one game against Arkansas Baptist last year. Staying in the 5AA North, Augusta reeled off five straight wins last year before injuries and the meat of the schedule took a toll on the Red Devils. All-conference halfback Antonio Gant ran for 960 yards last season. 25-year-old coach Tucker Barnard is the fifth coach in just two years at Arkansas Baptist where he sees unlimited potential. We, we had about 27 kids through, through their spring drills and uh, most of those kids have uh, continued all summer in our, in our workouts and uh, kind of up and lifting weights and, and uh, doing some running and getting, getting stronger. Uh, we're a little bit, uh, a little bit excited about that. It's, it's kind of an off-season program that, that hadn't been existent. Senior Wesley Lambright weighs just a buck 75, but is pound for pound the strongest eagle. He's athletic enough to play multiple skill positions on offense, but will work mostly at linebacker on defense for Baptist. Now here is Hooton's Arkansas football Class 2A rankings. Shiloh Christian opens the season a week from today against Class 4A power win in the Alltel Hooton's kickoff classic at historic Quigley Stadium in Little Rock. Ryzen, the defending state champs, are number two. Then it's Junction City, Carlisle, and the Bauxite Miners, which we expect will go deep into the playoffs this year. Charleston's number six. Harmony Grove is number seven. Coach Beasley, Joe Beasley, down in Harmony Grove, switched to the wing tee offense to get the most out of his athletes this year. Danville's number eight. Then it's Barton and Hampton. Mark Tree starts the second ten, followed by Mineral Springs, Murfreesboro, Harding Academy, and Gurdon. Hector is number 16. We expect the Wildcats will be much better than a year ago in the 4AA. Then it's Salem and Magnet Cove, which has won two years in a row against Bauxite. Desark is number 19, and Augusta rounds out the top 20. Coming up next, a look at Class 3A on Hooton's Arkansas Football. The high school football season ignites in Quigley Stadium on Saturday, September 1st at the Alltel Hooton's Kickoff Classic. Loaded with an Hooton's Arkansas Football. Brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital. The Nashville Strappers know how to win. They do it with a solid offense that keeps the defense fresh in the fourth quarter. Versatile athlete Charles Green collected 76 tackles at linebacker last year and should be an anchor in the middle. Green also started 13 games at running back as a sophomore and can play anywhere on the field. Nashville is number one in our poll and opens the season against powerhouse Hope next Friday. Former coach Lenny Delks helped the McGee Owls return to prominence over the past six years, but he left for West Memphis in the spring. Former Boonville assistant Scott Hyatt is Delks' successor he inherits a talented backfield at McGee with quarterback John Powell and running back LaRon Smith returning. Expectations are high in Warren, where the Lumberjacks should compete for a conference title, even though they haven't won or shared a league title since 1963. I think we've got a great chance. Uh, we've got to build a little tradition. Last year we played a couple big games, and I think it's going to be ready for, get us ready for this year. I learned a lot as a head football coach uh, in certain situations. And we've got to beat Fort Dice and McGee to compete for, for a conference championship. And if we can do that, we can be right there when it comes to the end of December. Warren's defense was porous in 2000, so Coach Embry moved his starting offensive lineman to defense in the spring. And Paul Harrison and defensive back Terrace Hampton are difference makers for the Lumberjacks. High-flying Pulaski Academy won nine games last year and is the only team from the 5 AAA to win a playoff game over the past two years. Returning all-conference performers Quentin Jones, Scott Hilburn, and Scott Landers have all learned to play through injuries. Scott Landers coming back. He's got his speed down, his strength's up. He ran a 4.89 at the Combine, and he benches 3.40 now. He's going to lead our defense, along with Hilburn coming back on defense. That's going to help us tremendously as well. Kids have been planning on going all the way this year. We're trying to win a state championship. We think we've got the nucleus to do it. Pulaski Academy opens the season next Friday at Clarksville, where the Panthers finished 1-9 and nine a year ago. But the Panther program has plenty of tradition and 15 starters back. If they get a few breaks along the way, the Panthers could be back in the playoffs. We feel like our team speed's a lot better. Last year, we uh, our, 
Our team speed was weak, and it was very evident we got out in the open field. We, we had a lot of trouble stopping people. Uh, our defense is going to be a lot better because of, uh, we will be quicker. And, and uh, we have a lot to, we have people coming back to, and that's going to help. Here is Hooton's Class 3A poll. Nashville's number one. There's McGee. The Owls have won five straight eight AAA conference championships. Boonville's number three. Then it's Warren and the Dollarway Cardinals. Dollarway has not won a playoff game since 1996. Pulaski Academy is number six. Two years ago, DeQueen was the state's Cinderella team when it won 14 games and finished as state runner-up. Dardanelle's number eight. Then it's Gosnell and the Ozark Hillbillies. The second ten starts with Hamburg. Then it's Ashdown, Pocahontas, Rivercrest, and the Fordyce Red Bugs. Bald Knob shared the two AAA conference title last year for the second time in school history. The Bulldogs beat conference heavyweight Highland last fall and should continue climbing. Dover is number 17. Then it's Lone Oak, Dumas, and the Farmington Cardinals. Coming up next, a look at Class 4A football. The high school football season ignites in Quigley Stadium on Saturday, September 1st at the all tell Hootons kickoff class. Hootons Arkansas football. Brought to you by Sonic. The Alma Airedales open the season number one in Hooton's Class 4A poll, even though Don Simpson, their top running back, transferred to Van Buren over the summer. Alma also enters the year with question marks at quarterback, receiver, and in the secondary. But tradition is on Alma's side. The Airedales have won 12 of their past 14 playoff games and played in three of the past four state championships. The Hope Bobcats surprised a lot of folks with their run to the state title last year. The Bobcats returned 10 starters, including running backs D.D. Holyfield and C.J. Ellis. Holyfield has rushed for close to 3,000 yards in his career, and Ellis made himself a big-time college recruit with great showings on both sides of the ball last year. 83 players finished two-a-day drills at Hope. Last fall, the Wynn Yellow Jackets were undefeated in the regular season for the third time in five years, but they lost at home in overtime of the semifinals for the second straight year. The Yellow Jackets will get a stiff test in next Saturday's kickoff classic. They open the season against the Shiloh Christian Saints. Their game will be around 2.15 or 10 minutes after our first game between Little Rock Central and West Memphis. Batesville won five of its first six games last year, but missed the playoffs for the first time in five seasons. Seven starters are back on defense, and Coach Dave King increased the intensity of workouts in the spring. Four games we lost were, you know, went right down to the wire, and three of them we led in the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, I, there's some to that, and I just think we weren't uh, – we're real mentally and physically tough last year, and we tried to work on that all season. We had some uh, pretty spirited boxing matches down there. Uh, 60 seconds, a long time to box. It doesn't seem like long, but uh, it's a pretty long time if you've got the gloves on. So uh, boxing kind of like football. If you quit or let up, you're going to get beaten down. And, that, you know, uh, our kids enjoyed it. It kind of lightened up off season at times. And here is Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 4A poll. Alma opens the season next Friday at Van Buren in Van Buren's brand new stadium. Should be a big game. Morrillton has 14 starters back and should compete for the state championship. There's Hope, Monticello, and the Wynn Yellow Jackets getting ready for Shiloh Christian next Saturday in the kickoff classic. 2:15 again is the game time next Saturday afternoon for Wynn and Shiloh at Quigley Stadium at Little Rock Central. The second five starts with Arkadelphia. The Badgers have highly touted quarterback Paul Goza back. Then it's Osceola, Harrison, Watson, Chapel, and Magnolia. The second ten starts with Fair. Then it's Batesville and Searcy, which has made the playoffs for the past five years. Whitehall is number 14. The Bulldogs have had back-to-back seven-win seasons. Greenwood's number 15. Then it's Newport. We expect Stuttgart to be better with new coach Bobby Bolding. Hot Springs is number 18. Then it's West Helena and Malvern. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football with a look at Class 5A straight ahead. The high school first security bank. Cabot opens the 2001 season ranked number one by Hooton's Arkansas football. That's got to be a little disappointing for the Cabot faithful and coach Mike Malham. He used a lack of respect for motivation last winter when his Panthers won the state championship. Sonic Super Team linebacker Stephen Owen leads a group of 10 returning starters that should win 10 regular season games again. Fort Smith Southside has picked to win the West and will have arguably the top defense in the state, led by major college recruit Chase Presley up front and linebacker Simon Simon. But the Rebels will miss quarterback Josh Driscoll, who signed with Arkansas State.
Like Southside, Bryant loves to pass the ball. And the past three seasons, the Hornets chunked it enough to make Matt Brown Class 5A's all-time leading receiver. Brown has graduated, but White returns. Matt White, that is. Number 11, accounted for more than 1,100 yards last season. White is joined by Jonathan Jamison, another three-year starter who can play virtually any skill position. Eight starters return on defense, and Bryant is hoping for another season like 1999 when it won its first 11 games. I think our defensive line potentially can be better than 99. Uh, we've, got, we've got better athletes than we had. Uh, we're quicker, we're bigger. For the first time in 37 years, Springdale has a new coach. Gus Malzahn, who guided Class 2A Shiloh Christian to national prominence, drives about the same distance to work every day, but he has a tough assignment when he gets there. Only two starters are back at Springdale. You know, we weren't real good in the spring. We've gotten better over the summer, and uh, you know, I feel like we'll get better every week, you know, the more we do it. And our quarterbacks coming along, starting to understand the coverages and what we're expecting. Our receivers are getting better at catching the football. Fayetteville has advanced to the playoff semifinals twice in the past five years and opens the season in our top 10. But Sonic Super Team linebacker Tim Serafini broke his hand earlier this week and may miss the kickoff classic when Fayetteville will get a severe test against pass-happy Marshall, Texas. Uh, it's going it's to be a good deal. I mean, going up against Marshall at the beginning of the year, it's going to be a good game for us. Uh, when you get a good look at a good team, it's going to say a lot about our team, too. Uh, we've got a lot of young guys, so it's going to show a lot about our season and how things are going to go, I think. It's going to be good. And here is Hootons Arkansas Football Class 5A preseason poll. Cabot's number one, then it's Central, Southside, West Memphis, and Northside, which is certainly a team to watch. Springdale starts the second five, then it's Bentonville at number seven, followed by El Dorado and Fayetteville, which will probably get its toughest test of the year next Saturday against Marshall, Texas in the kickoff classic. Van Buren is number 12 and could be a team to watch. The pointers picked up Don Simpson, a standout running back last season at Alma. Rogers is 13, then it's Jonesboro. Mills is a surprise all the way up to number 15. We're high on the Comets. Then it's Texarkana, Russellville, Jacksonville, Mountain Home, and North Little Rock. Now the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. It's not unusual to find Ryzen Zach Holderfield in the library, as he always manages to find time to study while balancing his workload on and off the field. When you come home late at night after football practice and you don't feel like studying, you rather go to bed like a lot of people do, but you still got to study. That kind of dedication helped Zach record 73 tackles and earn all state honors at defensive end during Ryzen State Championship season. Zach Holderfield, well deserving of the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week Award. Okay, thanks a lot, Mark, and congratulations to Zach. How about those Ryzen Wildcats, the defending state champs? They will start their season next Friday night against the Fordyce Red Bugs. And thanks again for watching Hootons Arkansas football tonight. We hope to see you here next Saturday again. The Alltel Hootons kickoff classic is going to be a great day a week from today, next Saturday afternoon. Again, here's the schedule. The first game at 12 noon, it's Little Rock Central against West Memphis. Then around 2.15, it's the shallow Christian Saints trying to take down another 4A giant. That's the Win Yellow Jackets. And then the nightcap, a whole lot of people from the state are going to be here to cheer on the Fayetteville Purple Dogs against the Marshall, Texas Mavericks. Tickets will be available at the gate next Saturday. If you want to pick them up in advance this week, it's just $7 for three games and you can get them at Spalding Athletic at 12th and University in Little Rock or at First Security Bank locations or you can get them next Saturday here at Quigley Stadium. There will be free parking at the state capitol for everybody and we hope to see you next Saturday for the All Tail Hootons Kickoff Classic and thank you for watching Hootons Arkansas football tonight. We will be here throughout the season every Saturday night at this time all the way through the playoffs and we hope to see you next week with highlights from the first week of the high school football season here on Hooton's Arkansas Football. You make sure you're physical. Lot riding on the ball game. You get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. That's what it is, so.